I think for this episode, what we're going to do is head over back to um, Tasty. We're going to get all the recipes that we can do at the moment. And then from there, we're going to go collecting some items to progress. Uh, I'll talk about more about those items once we get to that part, but it's a certain item. That was funny how he like jumped right on top of the lever. Alright, so now we can go all the way back around pretty easily now. I just realized, were these toads here before the Shy Guys were here or after? Because it's like... I'm guessing this was like a world or something. I never really thought about it that way. But that was like a place where those toads live maybe? And they're aware of the outside world? Because the Shy Guys live there. I guess they do know about the outside world because they got out of here and got into Toad Town. So I think I need a Fire Flower. I don't have any. For the first recipe. I might like do fast cuts for this one because it's just me going around places and getting items. Oh yeah, I forgot about the Shy guy here. Cool, now we can get the fire flower. I'm pretty sure I made this item before, but since I, I did the change to B, BG, B plus G, whatever, however it's supposed to be called. Uh, I think I forgot to do that one recipe. Yeah, like the positioning of where Watt is in front of Mario's face. It's like uh, Mario with Watt's face or something. <laughs> like the, some weird amalgamation of the two. Oh well. Back to getting more recipes. Thank 
Gonna take a little detour real quick to get this Wacka buff. Unfortunately, you have to fight Wacka in this game. We get it. Let's get Goombarrier out to check his HP real quick. Weak to dizzy. I might just. I'll use Y and then Power of Mario, I guess. Okay, that was close. Alright. I'm gonna use bow, and I should be able to kill next turn. Alright, that's good. It gets more annoying the more you fight him too, because he gets stronger. I think we only need the one right now. Alright, back to collecting items. I think that's going to be all the cooking for this episode. This episode's not over, it's just that's all I'm going to do for the cooking. I think there's like two more items I can make. I think the super soda and a tasty tonic. But uh, I'll just make those off screen. It's not really that important. Um, probably talk about some of the items I got. Um, yummy meal. All the meals just kind of give you HP and FP and also have the uh, uh, move reduction. Um, yummy meal gives you three turns for minus one bland meal gives you two minus one deluxe feast gives you four minus one pretty good uh this gives you five move cost by five so minus five for two turns that's pretty cool you're using really expensive moves uh ignis just does a lot of damage boiled eggs just a regular boiled egg if i have some of the other items uh so lime candy gives you 20 fp and it also increases your defense for three turns uh, lemon candy is similar, but it increases your uh, attack bed. Um, cookie cookie pretty much says what it does there. Uh, frozen fries gives you 25 HP, and I believe it gives you... Let's get it to make sure. I know it increases your defense, but lowers your attack. Uh, it reduces attack by 3, but boosts defense by 5 for 3 turns, so it's pretty good for a defensive choice. Um, Coup Pasta, I would guess it has something to do with increasing defense. Uh, increases defense by 4 for 1 turn, so it's pretty good. You just need the 1 extra defense. Alright, so now I'm going to go collect um, some egg missiles. And I'll show you what we're going to use those egg missiles in a bit after I collect them all. Many eggs later. Alright, I got all the eggs that we'll need. I think I got one extra than we need, but should be fine. Uh, so... Finally, without further ado, I'm gonna go... Break this block down, see what's over here. There's a lot of lag. 
go down this pipe. Fortunately, there's a, there's a ultra shroom in there, which fortunately I needed one, but I think I might've thrown one away or skipped one. I don't know. I needed one to make a honey ultra. Fellow block in the road or the pipe here. It's actually a robo toad. Oh, I thought I thought Shady Blade fixed this. The things, the and going off of the screen there. I guess it's just a lot of text. So yeah, essentially he alternates in red, blue, and yellow. Or red, he does a lot of attacks. Blue, he has a really by defense in yellow, he gives himself stat boosts and goes back to red. Uh, he's not too hard once, uh, you know, the strat here. You just double dip, stopwatch, and just throw a bunch of egg bombs. Because he's uh, susceptible to egg, to the bomb for some reason. I don't know if it's specifically bomb attacks or just this bomb item. It, is, it takes a damage. We're just gonna go to a bomb back because it's pretty easy. Um, action command, just mash A. Sometimes I mess it up with parry carry. You can see there it's a different damage than power bomb, even though they're both bombs, but I guess item bombs are different damage types. This is, uh, stopwatch makes this easy because I don't think you have to worry about him attacking. Or by the time he will attack, it's already gonna die, so. so. we're doing 16 damage and then 5, so in total 21 damage per turn. Pretty good. I'll definitely be dead now. Just make sure that you don't use Bombat when it's blue, though. So the defense will get in the way. That's pretty much it to this fight if you're ever stuck on it. It's pretty easy and you can get here at this point in the game. You got a repel gel. I think there's one cool thing here that we can get uh, right before I end the episode. Uh, the Ultra Shimia. I think you can uh, use Cooper. I've done it before. It's kind of tricky though. where you can utilize directional Cooper. I almost had it there. There we go, we got it. Ultra Shroom. Uh, I'll probably use that later on. Uh, in the next episode, we'll be doing something somewhere cool in this new area. See you guys then.